Well, the kids, the iPad kids are ruining society. Bro, no, they're not. They're in like algebra class right now. Just relax. They haven't done anything yet. Anyway, we're playing the coin game. We're starting up. See, boatloads of cash. Men, inside of you, there are two wolves. I'm going to pick this wolf. I will say, I think they got to <laughs> do something about the... You, you see skinny jeans and you see track pants. You don't see track pants this skinny. A lot of the time, like skin tight track pants. This is like what I wear when I hop on the Peloton. I will choose... I actually had a pair of those shoes, which is the worst part. I got them from Aldo. Like, this will bring you back. <clears throat> I remember specifically, I went to Aldo at the Cataraqui Town Center. Must have been 2006, 2007, 2008, sometime in there. They had a deal, four pairs of shoes for $60. Holy! <laughs> Who can you get for 60 bucks now? Two bottles of mustard? Is crazy. Start me up. Yeah, I'll start a new birthday mode session. What the heck is survive? Maybe I gotta go to survival? Health and energy system in place. Work odd jobs or scavenge to earn money. Pawn your prizes to get cash and keep going. Every game is real life now. Take me to birthday. A birthday party just for you. That sounds nice. Play birthday mode. Eat junk food to stay healthy. Me eating 360 calories of uh, Sour Patch Kids while driving to make sure I didn't fall asleep on I-5 northbound last night. Skirt! By the way, I, I don't expect... I, I should say I didn't expect Sour Patch Kids to be good for you because I'm not an idiot in that domain at least. But have you ever looked at the ingredients of Sour Patch Kids? It's literally sugar. The second, that's number one. The second ingredient is invert sugar, which I don't even know what that means, but it's some kind of sugar. And then the third ingredient is corn syrup. And the fourth ingredient is corn starch. The fifth ingredient is sour. It's citric acid. And then the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth ingredients are food dyes. And that's it. <laughs> it's two sugars, two corn derivatives, sour flavoring, and four food dyes. It's actually... I was embarrassed with myself for eating it. But they do taste good. I don't know what they're doing to them at the factory. Happy birthday! You're, ha happy birthday to you guys as well. Any chance... Uh, hey, it's my birthday. Any chance I could get you guys to... Turn the lights on? Is something wrong with... Why is this so... It's lit like a Netflix show in here. Can we get like some overhead lighting? Like this is crazy. It's so damn dark. Holy cow. Me when I'm the first dad to daycare pickup instead of the last dad? Give me one second, too. I'm not sure why the uh, <laughs> the frame rate is so bad. But they're animating every single dollar bill in the money money madness machine. Okay, video quality, rocket appliance. No, no, no. Take me to mom's desktop, please. And then you can turn off, like, extra shadows. You can basically turn off... Listen, I'm in the damn arcade, okay? I don't need particle clouds. I don't need volumetric clouds. I don't need... Uh, Sunlight shafts? That's a little ridiculous, okay? That's unnecessary in my opinion. Put, put me on mom's old desktop. Okay, now we're talking. Now, I've played some coin game before. But it's always nice to come back and see what they've added. Like the parking lot here, for example. Let's see, they always had this one room. They got a second room now? They don't have a second room yet. They got gooey bears. Sour treats and jelly bits. I'm going to surprise you, by the way. You might be like, hey, NL, when was the last time? I'm not paying a dollar for jelly bits. Like, you got to be out of your mind. 
I'm not getting into streamer discourse, but this is simply too expensive for me. I'm going to walk away. I don't care what Jelly Bits said. I don't, I don't care if they're going to call me a broke boy. That's their prerogative. It's part of the brand. I'm not paying a dollar for Jelly Bits. I'm exercising my capitalism rights and I'm walking away. Now, a dollar for sour treats wouldn't be caught dead doing that either. And a dollar for goey bears. If I'm going to be paying premium prices for a candy, spell it right, okay? It's that simple. There's no, sh I don't care if this is on daddy's credit card from the coingame.com here. We're not doing it. But you might say, hey, NL, when was the last time you used one of these machines? Well, I'll tell you for free. The second last time I used one was probably in 2002, exiting from the food basics and asking my mom for a quarter so I can get some jelly beans or like those uh, fruit candies where the banana breaks your teeth. Now, the last time I used it was like eight months ago. I got my tires changed from winter to summer or winter to all season. And they had one of these in the service center and I had a quarter and I said, you know what? It's the perfect time. And it kind of hit, honestly. Win official Dunko merchandise here. New prizes. Get yours now in the prize area. Yeah, man. Rasta banana plush. No, thanks. Dunko. All right. Now, I'm from, like, a, a different era of arcades. Said non-judgmentally. When I was a kid, arcades still kind of existed. Um, but they were for, like, video games, basically. They weren't for, like, Dave & Buster style. You put it in a quarter, you get some tickets, then you use your tickets to get a prize. And they both got their merits, and they both got their dumb merits. Like, on the bright side, when I was a kid, you put a quarter into an arcade machine and you actually got to play something that was, like, fun. But also, no matter how well you did in The Simpsons six-screen co-op beat-em-up, like, you never got anything to show for it. Your money was just gone. That being said, kind of depresses me anytime, like, we go to an arcade now and there's a 10-person lineup for the deal or no deal machine where you put in a dollar and then, like, a random number gets generated and then... Like, they sum up the total of the unrevealed prizes divided by two and go, would you like to accept 75 tickets? And the kids are like, no! And then they reveal, like, the 200-ticket prize, and they're like, would you like to settle for 67 tickets? And they're like, no! Like, it's just kind of like an adolescent casino. But anyway, we're going to have some fun here. Let's get started. $5 for one play? Larry, are you fucking insane? This is crazy. First off, it's my birthday. Who am I, Victor Wembayama? Like, I'm the, I'm the tallest kid at the birthday party. Or is it like I have no friends my own age from school, so this is like all my little cousins and stuff that are just seat filling. I don't know. Okay. $5 for one play, and it's literally just a bag of tickets. Okay. Let's, let's send it. Five bucks? It's cheap. That's a damn bargain. What the hell am I doing? Holy first person perspective. And this rotates like a key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one do I want? I want this one right here. Then click the button and stop right there. Oh, that's not even. Cl oh. <laughs> All right. It's one hour of my father's labor gone. Yeah, we'll try again on this one for sure. We're, we're going to beat every game in Larry's Arcade, okay? We're going to clear this fucker out. Oh! Did I just have brain surgery or something? What, what did I get? Also, I got to get all those avatars off the side of the screen immediately. <laughs> Is there a way to do that? <laughs> It's really crazy what percentage of them are, like, anime avatars, right? Like, it's insane. It's actually, like, like 40%. And that was... I'm not going to say it's a random sample because it was such a small sample size, but still. Okay, so we go into the settings menu. Leaderboards will be off. Leaderboards will be on, but for friends only. Even worse, it's bad anime. <laughs> I'm not touching that one. Okay, can I have my tickets, please? 
Can I have my tickets, please? Can I have my tickets, please? No? I have 50 gun. I've noticed that. F? There you go. You're right. Plus 1,000 uncounted tickets. What does that get you? 1,000 tickets. All tickets must be counted in the ticket eater. Okay? Me after 10 Sleeman Honey Browns. There you go. Most tickets won all time. I'll tell you, we're already... How is this possible? We're in second place already. Jay, Jay is Disco Lemonade. What the hell are you doing? 7,000... Oh, I guess I, that was... This is my lifetime. This is not just uh, a single performance. Fair enough. Can you get the fuck out of here, bro? It's my birthday. One glow stick, 500 tickets. I'm broke as hell, man. This is, we got nothing. I honestly thought at least I'd be getting like a, a Tootsie Roll or something like that. Can I say something about the United States of America, by the way? I'm not sure if I see this. I, I would love to say that I see this as positive, but I actually see this as negative, which I think is not going to be a controversial take. What is going on with uh, grocery stores in suburban areas in the United States of America? We went to a little grocery store this weekend while we were in Washington called Fred Meyer. Walked in expecting food. Um, they do have food, any food you could ever ask for. Nine varieties and flavors of any food you could ever ask for. Um, spoilers, it's all corn. Regardless, Fred Meyer also has an electronics section, like a Best Buy. It's also got an entire Toys R Us jammed inside of it. It's got like seven aisles of toys, board games, kids books. It's a furniture store. Like it has, it, it basically has an Ikea shoved into the corner. It's a bank. It has a counter where you can pay your bills, cash checks, like do stuff like that. Like check your credit and, and apply for credit cards. It has a jewelry store. Don't it? You know it's got a Starbucks, okay? Don't even get me started. It It's... Every store under the sun in a single store. It's like a Canadian tire meets a grocery store, meets a furniture store, meets a toy store. Like, it's, it's insane. Based? I see it as not based. Because Fred Meyer is not a guy. Fred Meyer is like a private equity company putting a smiling face on an Americana-esque sounding name, right? We used to have Fred Meyer, the owner of the local toy store. Fred Meyer, the owner of the local hardware store. Fred Meyer, the owner of the local grocery store. Did I say grocery store? You get the idea. Hang on. The, all the, 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 the beeps and the boobs are getting to me, man. Claw Madness. Also, I was in the suburbs. I had to take my daughter to use the bathroom. No locks on the stalls in the men's bathroom in the suburbs? People really, like, getting an Uber out to the Fred Meyer to go shoot up in the, in the bathroom? That doesn't... Oh, there's a timer! Okay, hang on. We want... Give me, give me the 500 here. I got no depth perception. One of my eyes is, like, way worse than the other one. Well, we won something. Are we still going? We get to go again because we won? It's a 2D screen. No one has depth perception. It's modeled as if it's three-dimensional. Don't be pedantic. Ten, ten tokens. Waste of my time. Three prongs? I know, or three prongs. I'm starting to think they don't even want you to win. That's the 500 easy. I was at least 10 inches digitally off where I thought we were there. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to get the yellow 500 that was closest to me. 
Come on, come on, come on. Close it, close it in, close it. Oh, what is it? 50, 20, 25. How'd we do? Try again? No, that's okay. Is that like six tickets? Not worth, I would say, not worth. What the hell is this? Larry's Claw Machine. It's the same damn game. You just grab letters instead? Well, I'll give it a try, it's my birthday. You gotta spell Larry. Grab this L. Me when I'm Steph Curry, trying to guard SGA. What can I say? Egg nose ball. Uh, I broke it. He's up to date. I know, I know lots of stuff, man. Grab this S. Hundred tickets, that's not so oh <laughs> it's got a sting, man. Y is pretty good. There's lots of Y's out here. You know what the problem is? My dumbass turned shadows off so I could raise the FPS. Now I can't use the shadow of the claw to tell my relative position. <laughs> He's blowing it? No, 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 get ready. I see an S back here. This one belongs to me. Oh! Do you see the way we're grabbing it around its waist? It's so baby girl. The gamers are all saying the S from Larry's Claw Machine is so baby girl. Okay, now Dizzy Bird. Dizzy Bird is where it's at. How to play. Find the green light, and then you gotta base your power to try to land it on the green. Are you ready for this? Live view. That bird is not dizzy enough. It's not even close. 10 tickets. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm already in first place. So of course I want to play again. Don't be ridiculous. Where is okay, we gotta go, we gotta go pretty high on this one. Give me a little bit. We went into the red a little bit. Oh, okay, we're getting closer. Ten tickets. Nothing, nothing to worry about. We play again, we go again. Is this game too loud, by the way? I don't even I didn't even see where the greenie was. Where's the it's right there, okay. That looks pretty good. Oh, 100 tickets, 180 tickets. Bonus shot. This is actually gonna get it. Oh, I overshot it by like 20%. <laughs> Run it back, of course. And this, this costs a dollar a game? Look at the, the damn mother load, man! Okay, where's, where's my green? It's pretty far in. Well, oh, that's gonna be a little too far, I think, unless on the other end. Oh! Oh! What the hell, man? Get out of here! They're my tickets! I can't do my, my muscle memory's all fucked up, dude! I can't. Look at my arms, I could break my rotator cuff. Look at my wrist, man. I can't, I, my shit's all messed up now. Get, get off of this thing. Holy cow, I'm going to the moon. Put me back in, do not push me off the side, okay? The green light is somewhere. It's right there, that's easy. Oh, this could actually do it. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't even close. 10 tickets. Of course we go again.
This one, I got a good feeling. That felt right. It's going. Oh! <laughs> oh! I don't even get a bonus for that one! We went almost full power. Come on, come on. Go up the hill, Kate Bush. Go up the hill. <clears throat> Price is right rules. I hate when motherfuckers talk about Price is right rules. Like, that's an ISO 9001 certified, like, rule set. Maybe this is the problem with the United States of America, is that the Price is Right conditions kids home from school at a young age not to dream too big. You get punished for dreaming too big. You know what you get rewarded for? Doing just a little bit more than the little guy next to you. When you're both just trying to take some money from the CBS Corporation. It encourages us to pit the contestants in contestants row against one another to win like a new bedroom set. I don't want a new bedroom set. I already got a bed. I already got a chest of drawers. What would I want that stuff for? Give me something. Give me a car I can pawn or something like that. I don't want a rowing machine. I want a, you know, California emissions tested Chevy Spark. Manufacturer suggested retail price is like eleven thousand thirty-seven dollars. It's a little baby one. Okay, we got to go a little bit more than that. Thoughts on Discord sleep calls? One of my friends is trying to normalize it and tell me that all couples do it. What is a Discord sleep call? You stay on a call with your Discord kitten while you both go to sleep? Hang on. Shut up. We're going to the moon. Oh! That's it? And then imagine if we hit the bonus on this as well. Doesn't have quite enough. Still pretty good though. I mean, we have no need to play again. I used to do that on Xbox Live with my long distance girlfriend. Your mom, when she checks the uh, internet bill, Open parentheses, you still pay by the minute. <laughs> what the fuck? Thirty six hundred minutes. Microsoft checking the Halo bill. <laughs> so true. Sorry, we have to shut down Halo 3 servers. It's costing us too much money for the intimacy level of these couples. But you know what? Fuck them, bro. They got the cash. What the hell is this? Mega Drop. I think I'm too old for this game. Do I where, where I want to drop it into the into the question mark or the bonus round? What the hell is that? 40 points. <laughs> that seems kind of bad. I love the sound. Don't worry, it's all luck. That's my kind of game. 15 tickets! <gasps> oh! <laughs> what a throw up, man. We, we always got the bonus round. The sound of that ball is really satisfying. Oh! Question mark. Ooh! Mystery mode. Try, try again. Absolutely. How could I not? 642 tickets. I'm going to piss my pants on this thing. The machine's hot. Oh, 35 tickets. Didn't even see that one. That one shouldn't count. Come on. Bonus round. I broke the machine. Question mark? The machine's broken, bro. Shouldn't it be like cambered on the side so that it's forced to fall in a hole? It does this in real life, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll give it a little bump. What the hell was that? They redropped it? 15 tickets is a damn scam. Ken Griffin. Oh, bonus round. 
Bonus ball. Holy. Bonus ball. It's going off, man. Bonus ball. <laughs> what the fuck? 3,187 tickets? The hell happened? I still it's still going. What's going on, dude? <laughs> Holy, that was incredible. All right. Never gamble. This is the ultimate game, man. I'm sure I've told you this before. The moment I think I really came to respect New York City is after Champions of Fire 2. Um, we went to a bar that was, it was open until like 5 a.m., which at first I was like, is this even allowed? Then the bar had ski ball inside of it. I'm pretty sure if you did that in Vancouver, all members of city council will come down to Gastown and take turns beating the shit out of you and then sending you to prison. Like, you're not allowed to have fun in an establishment where alcohol is served because that might incentivize you to drink too much. New York had it all figured out, man. I was, I was impressed. Can I? I'm stuck. There you go. Just got to jump over it sometimes. You talked about this last time you played the coin game. All right, but that was two and a half years ago. So cut me some slack, okay? You might want to work on the skee ball efficiency here. Okay, we go for 100. Bad start. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now we're talking. Hang on. They're not saying using Delta time. You think they got this shit all coded in one big update function? Every frame, they're like, sorry, your Doritos eating is at 4 FPS. Little Timmy's playing skee-ball. With Family Guy's skibbity toilet up on the custom media share. Ooh. <sighs> Fuck me. The hell was that? Every time Skibbity Toilet gets mentioned, the Rapture gets two years further away. Honestly, based for me, because I'm pretty sure after the Rapture, like, my ass is... I've seen this is the end. Doesn't my ass get, like, flayed by demons on Earth or something like that? While everybody else gets taken up into Craig Robinson heaven with the Backstreet Boys? Yeah? Fuck it, Skibbity Toilet, Skibbity Toilet, Skibbity Toilet. All-Star Hockey Hut. Yeah, this looks like hockey. Credits four. Shoot shoot the puck. What am, what the hell are we doing? Wait for that five hundred to come around. I know we're on a time limit. We wait for the 500. I see it. Ooh, it's the, it's not the, it's the hockey stick. It's not the little record scratcher over here. <laughs> okay. We're looking for the 500 spot. Here it comes. Oh! <laughs> He's insane. He's insane at skill-based gambling. Oh, okay, I'll take 50. I'll take 50. I mean, that's pretty good. It's a shame the game is not very fun. Cuckoo coins. Can't even figure out how to, how to use the damn machine. 
Can't even figure out where the card goes. Drop coin with interact. This is actually a casino. Drop coin with interact, aim left, aim right. Total cost a thousand? A thousand? Okay. It's dad's credit card anyway. The hell is this? It's Plinko. We have to light up the buttons that say coins. You've never played this before? I have it. I will say, I remember in um, my hometown, which is very, very, very small. It had a fair that came around once a year. I was probably like seven or eight, and this is the first time I ever saw one of these. I just remember like my dad, who is actually like an upstanding citizen and does not have a gambling addiction, sat down at the machine and was like, I'm just gonna play this for a bit. You guys go have fun. And then like my mom and I went on some rides, played like some games at the Midway and stuff like that. And we came back after like two hours and he was still sitting at the damn coin pusher machine. And my mom was like, we gotta go. Like, this is crazy. And he was like, I don't wanna go. And he, my mom was like, we gotta go. And he's like, okay. <laughs> Which I think was very, you know, that was a good uh, lesson for, for him. Why, why didn't that light up the eye? I don't understand. It has to be lit up. Oh, it's oh, it has to pass through at the time when it's lit. I understand. That's how they get you. Oh, dude, it's hot. The machine's hot. Okay, give me the C now. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I mean, we're not even hitting the C in the first place. Let's not even worry about getting it when it's lit up. Oh, two dollars and fifty cents is real money. Book, book, book. 40, 40 tokens? 40 tickets? There's a damn knife? Good start. Holy cow, I'm, I'm actually amazing at this. Maybe it runs in the family. Oh, he's crazy. Five tokens? This one's rigged, bro. It's rigged. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. The people who make cuckoo coins do not want you to win. Huge. Huge. Oh, he's good. He's insane? We could run this back for a couple hours. It's not what I wanted. I wanted to see. POV Poseidon got first pick in the Which God Are You draft. What about Zeus? Bro, nobody wants lightning. Fucking chip damage. Everyone wants to see fucking debuffs and movement or whatever. I don't remember. Something. Hades. Something. Okay, th this is a big one. This is our last moment on this machine. 30 tokens. Honestly, you're a bunch of scammers. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Waiting for final push. Me, when I'm in the delivery room. <laughs> POV, I am an obstetrician. Coins spent a thousand. Tickets won 219. I'd have to say that that's a pretty bad ticket to coin ratio. 
personally. So every game is just is just a slot machine, huh? Big Bass Wheeling. Come on, Sally. Full pull. Holy fuck. <laughs> What? Coins spent a hundred. Ticket tickets won four. Ticket to coin ratio 0. 0.04. What the hell? I won the jackpot, man! What happened? You have to be in the middle of the tile. In what cocked up universe does that make sense? The jackpot's only in the middle of the tile. Always, it's price is right rules. What do you, what do you, what? We go again. We go again until we win. You hit the corners? Don't talk to me about the corners. I invented the corners. Comic Sans ass game. It is Dan's best game. That's so sad. <laughs> of course we're going again. I'm gonna pass Dan on the leaderboards. You you don't even have to worry about that, okay? Even if it takes us 25 more spins, we go again. By the way, on the subject of baldness, I had some banger tweets this weekend. Let me just say it, okay? What are some banger tweets? Well, one of them was just honest. I really need to find out. I need a defunct land style deep dive on the popularity of bikini baristas in the Pacific Northwest. Apparently it's not Washington only, but it's like Washington down to like Northern California. There are, you can look it up, bikini baristas. It makes no sense to me. It's like a Hooters, um, but for drive through coffee. It's a place where you're horned up, but also under-caffeinated. Go look it up on, on Wikipedia. The controversy section is crazy. People going through the bikini barista line, like jerking off, paying the baristas to lick whipped cream off each other. Lady almost got kidnapped at a, at a bikini barista stand. And they're all called like, you know, Premature cappuccino dilation. That doesn't really make any sense. You get the idea. I didn't want to out the ones that were close to where we were. The water fountain one was hilarious. It was because my niece got like one of those 80 ounce Stanley cups for, um, for her birthday. And she was like, this is the best gift I've ever gotten. And in my head, I was like, we literally used to go to school with no fluids at all. This is like pre the proliferation of bottled water. We would, we would eat like a bowl of cereal, go to gym class at 8.06 in the morning in May, and the gym teacher would be like, just run outside for an hour. You'd run out, you'd be like dying, sweating through your shirt, not using the shower afterwards or using deodorant, even though you're in the ninth grade and you smell like shit. And then it was like, okay, gym class is over in five minutes. Everybody come get a drink. And 30 kids line up at the water fountain and go, and that's it. You've been out, you've been lost like a liter of fluids out there, man. And if you ever took more than two seconds on the damn nozzle, some kid kicked you in the fucking spine. You're like, your, your body is screaming for fluids. The kid behind you is like, one, two. And what's crazy is that that kid is right because there's 29 more kids that have to get some water. If you take, if you drink as much water as you need, kids 17 through 32 are, not, are they're gonna get none. It's insanity. 
And I'm, by the way, I'm not, some people were like, what a boomer take. I'm like, no, moron, you don't understand. It was dumb back then. We should have been taking water. They should have been giving us water in gym class, man. It wasn't that you weren't allowed to carry water. It just wasn't, it wasn't done. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. We just didn't care. It was like the 11th or 12th grade for me when like Nalgene's started to pop off. And then like six years later, they were like, oh, by the way, like every time you drink out of a Nalgene, it's like eating a, a square of Saran wrap. Like the chemicals never leave your body. It just wasn't done. You just didn't carry fluids. Maybe you had like a juice box or a, a can of Nest tea in your lunchbox or something, but... Anyway, we go again. Wait, I use Nalgene? They got the forever chemicals that we know of out of them after like the first few batches. We go again. Yeah, I don't need any microplastics that I know of. We go again. Come on, at least juice me with a hundred four. Four. We go again. We're climbing the leaderboards though. That Stanley Cup Fire one got me good though. Did you see my post on the Discord? Green text arrow, Stanley Cup, green text arrow, fire. Non green text arrow, they aren't talking about the Vancouver 2011 riots. People cheer. People have almost forgotten. It's almost exited the, <laughs> the public consciousness. Everyone's too worried about Sam Altman Freed. We go again. It's fucked up we're conditioning our kids to like go to birthday parties and do this shit. Like watch your friend spin a wheel to see if it hits the- Oh, never mind, it's all! It was almost all worth it, never mind. Oh, man, we got a long way to go to catch Dan, huh? Or do we? Oh! Sorry, Danny boy, sorry. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I'm goaded. I know, I'm goaded, I'm goaded. Don't get away from my tickets, get away from my tickets, you rats, you rats. Hang on, I just gotta, let's run it back one more. That's what we're looking for. I just wanna see the leaderboards. These kids crowding around me. Bro, can you buy me a whistle? I'm insane, I'm goaded. Where's the leaderboard, bro? Bro, they don't show the leaderboard when you get a, a good spin. I gotta have a shit spin so I can get the screenshot to flex on Dan in the thumbnail. But I'm too good, they won't live. Okay, this, this, that's better, that's better. L key. You have to hit it, what the fuck? What the hell are you talking about? I literally just won a thousand tickets. What are they talking about? Game doesn't work, man. It's a scam. Speed drop. You get the jackpot at 500 tickets. You got 100. Oh, wait. You're right. <laughs> I will not stop until I get the jackpot of 500, okay? Is each one worth 10? The world may never know. But the, it, it broke. Click the, click the button, bro! Zero missed balls? What are you talking about? Let's let's be serious here.
Why is it? It's not registering all of my clicks, bro. I can win this. I can win this. It's not registering my clicks, okay? It's not registering all of my clicks. Here we go. We can, it's so easy. It's, ah, I told you. Well, I gotta play one more time so that I can beat Jay's score and climb the leaderboards. Take it to coin ratio, five? Five tickets to, for each coin? It's the best game in the damn pack, man. Kiss away. The hell is treasure in the sand? Use joystick to move arm and knock off coins. It's, it, don't touch shovel handle. What is this? Scoop in the damn litter box. Thirty tickets. <clears throat> <laughs> of course we go again. Don't be ridiculous. Tutorial every time. What is this? The Binding of Isaac? Okay, we're going yard on this one. How much time? Eight seconds left. Bro, we can't get any laterals on our scoop. One motherfucking second. It's alright, drag it back, drag it back, you son of a bitch. 30 tickets. Push to the side? It was hard. The, the arm's not built to push to the side, bro. The arm's built to, to, to push back and forth. Oh, but if you can turn the treasure chest to the side, then you can't be held responsible for your performance. I see what you're saying. It's better. <laughs> 50 tickets. We go again? <laughs> I want to win the jackpot, man. <laughs> this game's ass? They're all ass.
I, that's what makes it so fun. Okay, now big scoops. We got to get all the turds out of the litter box today. Any chance we can get, just get some little side pushes? Just anything, anything, anything? That, that seems bad. That seems like a bad one. Well, I got all the treasure chests, bro. People need to learn how to enjoy things that are ass again. I genuinely, I might be an insane person. I know I've been talking about 90s maxing a lot, which is a sentence that a normal person would not say. But I think I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm on the vanguard of like being a digital Amish person. Person. What do I mean by that? What the fuck? What are the treasure chests got soft locked at the damn back of the thing, man? I'm not even playing this one. I want my money back. My, what, what do I mean by that? All I mean is I'm so unconcerned at this, uninterested at this point in my life with getting like the world's greatest anything. I get that like, I, I'm not saying it's necessarily a young person's pursuit, but I've, you know, Vancouver is not the best city in the world necessarily, but it's got some great food. New place opens up. Oh, it's the best soup dumplings that's ever existed. Oh, try this new place. It's got the best flat white in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, this place has like incredible coffee. The ramen here is like out of control. And it's true. There's some great places you go eat at them and you're like, wow, this is really good. But at the end of the day, what's really good? It's like 17% better than average, right? Kind of hit like a food ceiling. So now I'm like, I'm, I'm mid-maxing. I'm going to restaurants in strip malls and being like, wow, this chicken teriyaki is better than I expected. Now, does it hit the same way that the best chicken teriyaki in the Pacific Northwest does? No, but it means my ass doesn't have to reckon with the Richmond strip mall parking lot to get it. I could just take the damn SkyTrain to, you know, Crystal Mall or something like that. I could just go to the damn restaurant that's two blocks away. I could just walk there. I could take my bike there or something like that. I don't need to make like a reservation 18 weeks in, in advance and then go, oh, like book off my whole schedule. Just be like, bro, come on. Can I get the, give me sushi combo A, okay? One more. That's most of us? No, I invented it. Or at least I'm bringing it back. Bro thinks he invented living. <laughs> Dude, can I give a shout out though to a restaurant? You ever find yourself in Mill Creek, Washington and you're up early in the morning? Take your ass to the Sawmill Cafe for breakfast. Ooh, good old fashioned American diner. You know what I respected about the Sawmill Cafe? The classic breakfast, two eggs, hash browns, two slices of toast, very standard. Here's where they got you good though. The meat, four slices of bacon, or four sausage links. Not two slices of bacon, two sausage links. Most places be out here giving you two, and you're like, two slices of bacon is like, I haven't even gotten my heart rate up yet. Four is the perfect amount, six is a little too decadent. Must have been like 30 bucks. It was like 17 bucks, which, you know, in 2023 is like the price of a cup of coffee. <laughs> USD or CAD? Yeah, it was a rare American restaurant that uh, denominates in Canadian dollars for some reason. That's one of the reasons I liked it too. Dunko. It's the same shit. Dunko's the same shit, bro. It's the same shit as treasure in the sand. It's the same shit as cuckoo coins. It's just an abstracted version of Big Bass Wheeling. It's just an abstracted version of the damn Mega Drop game. The only, the only skill in here is, is skee-ball. Dude, my body feels so drained. 
Okay, I was gonna mention, Kate. I feel like we accidentally gave ourselves... Well, first off, we went to the zoo for like four hours yesterday and it was cold as fuck. But secondly, I think we gave ourselves domestic jet lag. Because I'm used to going to bed at like 10 and waking up at 5.45. But both on Saturday night and Sunday night, I went to bed at like 11 and then I woke up at 7.30. It's like I, 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 gave, I moved myself to like the Hawaiian time zone without leaving the Pacific Northwest. I gave myself domestic jet lag. I feel pretty good though. NL has the most mundane problems. Not your ass. Oh, fucking Valve stacked me with a dude that I muted on Dota 2. This is ridiculous. He, he inted mid last game, and now I'm stuck with him for another 57-minute game because our opponent took Lifestealer with Hand of Midas. Shit's going to take forever. Most mundane problems. My kid threw all up all over herself in, her, in our car. Your problems. Uh, I don't want to pay. I'm hungry. I have food that I don't want to eat in my house. Why'd your ass buy it at the grocery store to begin with if you don't want to eat it? Uh, yeah, I could get DoorDash, but uh, my favorite restaurant's not open, plus it's expensive. Okay. Eat this Wemby. Focus, focus. Uh, we go for the major prize. What's the matter, Dan? Stack them too hard for you? Oh, what the oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> run it back, run it back. My left eye is better. This makes more sense. Oh. Oh, no, 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 we go right, we go right. You know what, maybe we play middle. Yeah, maybe we play middle smart. You know what it is? I do. I play better off the left bounce than I do off the right bounce. So you got to take that left bounce. Motherfucker. <laughs> Run it back. Of course, run it back. Dude, you know what they need? They need a roguelite based on stacker. They got one for every other, like, game under the sun now. Like, you can re-roll your... You, anytime you lose a cube off of a stack, your next attempt to stack has one extra cube in it. I felt it late. I felt it being late. Mm. Motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
slow. Oh. <laughs> No blinking. Rhythm. Rhythm. What's the point of stacking them perfectly when they always take you down the one block anyway? I might as well stay in the one block zone so I don't get accustomed a, a to mediocrity. I don't understand the appeal of playing these games at home. I kind of hear you, but I want to take it a step further. I kind of don't understand the appeal of playing these games at the damn arcade, where it costs like real money. And then you win, like, tickets to get some shit that cost them 75 cents to get shipped in. Like, it's like, and then you smell the shit that you bought with the tickets and you're like, 100%, this is going to give me, like, a disease. I'm going to have some kind of pulmonary deficiency just as a result of smelling this, like, bouncy ball. It smells like pure lead. It's all about keeping the global economy in motion. I hit green because I thought green was go for the green. Instead, green was take tickets instead of the worst headphones I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I don't want this shit. We go again. Another thing that blew my mind, I'm sure they were dog shit, but at Fred Meyer, they had Bluetooth over-ear headphones that were on clearance for $9.99. How can that be profitable for Frito-Lay? Like, think about all the inputs that go into that. They fucking made the electronics. They assembled them into the, the board. They put the actual, like, headphone shit on the assembled electronics. They put it inside a box. They paid someone to like design the label. They put it on a cargo ship, shipped it across the Pacific Ocean. A longshoreman pulled the cargo off of the ship, loaded it into a truck, sent it to a distribution center. Somebody loaded it onto another truck, drove it to Fred Meyer. Another person took it off the fucking Card, brought it into the Fred Meyer warehouse and then another person took it out of the warehouse put it up on the shelf and then slapped like a price tag on it and you're like really $9.99 for Bluetooth headphones it was like everybody's getting like one eighth of a cent for every single one of these that are sold like it's crazy so we don't go for Bluetooth headphones we go for the major prize Fuck you. Fuck you. Z. Oh, win, win. <laughs> Gone and done it again, y'all. Quit while you're ahead. Well, basically cleared this bitch out. Call me Danny Ocean. Don't stop till you're numb. Oh, I'm gonna fucking go. <laughs> 